all right good morning guys we're back with another video uh or at least the start to another video <clears throat> um right now we're gonna go back to the yard uh, more working on the interior uh i got a lot of little odds and ends i need to finish up so i definitely need to get on that um i also need to take the floor to uh greg's shop uh so he can paint it and yeah um also i got a box in a, a couple weeks ago uh as you guys saw my sleeper uh my sleeper was all you know i just did the button tuck and all that stuff well my buddy our i think it's rms customs yeah i'm wearing his hat I, yeah rms customs uh sent me some sleeper panels uh with the glass lenses in there so I'm hyped on getting those installed. Um, but yeah, just got a couple wires back here to wire up. No big deal. And uh, these will look real good uh, in the sleeper to match uh, just like what I got in the cab. So anyways, let's get to it. Um, yeah, so a couple things that I wanna accomplish, I just wanna speak briefly on couple things that I want to accomplish before this show as well is I'd love to get the frame repainted um, I'd love to get the frame body worked uh, get the the mill mark markings out of the side rail of the frame and also I got to get the frame uh, the the fenders repainted so the fenders are gonna get a uh, fresh coat of paint on them so got a lot of prep i'm actually taking a week off of work prior to this show just to get literally everything done um i know friday once i get off work friday um once i get off work friday i'm gonna take all my wheels and tires apart and uh throw them in the back of the truck and send them down to my buddy down at uh valley uh, valley pressure washing in albany and I'm going to have him polish all the wheels inside and out for this show. So, <sighs> if it ain't money, it's time. If it ain't time, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with it, but there, uh, and I'm telling you, it's a lot, a lot of little stuff, man. And I'm, I'm hyped on the show, show stuff again this year. I know last year I didn't really do too many shows. Um, I'm just hyped on it again, man. I got this interior going and it just, something about having a clean interior, man. It just, it uh, it's a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned for the rest of the video and uh, let's see what we got in store. All right, guys, so I'm working on getting this um these uh this bracket or this mount all uh out out of the stock stuff so this was how my stock light looked i just kind of pulled these clips down and it has like these like plastic um kind of deals that are like pressed in the back um so i guess the only way to get these out you have to drill these so get a bit that's just a little bit bigger than that and just drill straight through that and then they'll they'll come out clean like that um <clears throat> and then for the kit i've got replacement screws so you'll just put these clips uh in place and then you'll just put that screw uh through it and then that's pretty much how it's mounted so uh let's see all right guys so got those all drilled out put my new little clips in that are going to hold the bolts um as it let this damn thing focus focus there we go sweet and then this is the stock plug remember guys in a big truck uh, majority of the time when you see white that's usually ground um, and whatever color alongside of it is usually um, man this thing's like not focusing okay this um, whatever color is alongside of it is usually your power so here on the back you see obviously this is ground because it is um 
going directly to the you know the backing the metal surface here um all right maybe that's a little better so we got our ground and i'm hoping both sides are grounded out yeah, yeah, yeah okay so he's grounding out to this backing plate which the lights are are already bolted to the backing plate so the housing itself is grounded now he's got the power coming out of both lights so you got one two and we got them tied straight together and then all i did is on that stock plug i cut it um i don't have, oh here it is so i cut the stock plug deal out of this housing and all i did here is put the plug here so now it's literally plug and play so i just put my two butt connectors there and now i literally just am gonna plug this in here and then just tie the screws in there and i literally am gonna have lights working so easy and i get asked a lot like hey man what lenses or what lights are you using yada 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 I don't really like to say it. I mean, I say it to some people that message me like what brand and stuff I'm using, but like some of this stuff is like, I'm not gonna say it's a secret, but like everyone has their own like color combo that they run. Like there's a couple different like flavors that you can run. Well, when I run my clear glass lenses, this is glass. Um, I like the Fin Lion. They're either 1156 for the one wire or 1157 for like a turn signal uh two wire kind of deal so you see the bottom prong is just one prong and all it takes is power and then the body grounds itself out inside of the housing um i believe so if that's right <laughs> anyways uh amber this is the stuff that i run for all my amber lenses um but yeah if you guys haven't seen anyone take any of this stuff apart uh, it's pretty simple just goes it just literally screws back on once you get the the light in there so I'll just show you guys real quick um, and then like if I was going to use this outside I'd put a little bit of electrical and I probably should right now but I'm just not going to um, you put a little bit of electrical grease on the on the tips here and on this housing and also you want to throw a little bit of uh, clear silicone around here just to seal it off so you don't get water inside. Um, that's kind of like key to keeping your lights from like going out. Because a lot of people have that issue. Literally you just push down and that's it. So we'll get this all bolted together and I'll show you guys the final outcome. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if my theory, my wiring and all this stuff is correct. Let's see if I know what the hell I'm doing uh haven't tested it yet let's just uh let's just pop this light on so i'm just gonna go to this panel click it on Woo, that is bright holy crap <clears throat> so that's how it's gonna go just like that guys sick heck yeah all right guys so that's kind of how it's looking i still got some buttons missing up there some self tappers missing up there so I uh, still got to knock that out, but for the most part, man, I'm uh, pretty happy with that. The amber lenses look sick inside. Um, there's like a before, there's an after. Um, I also have these that you could just switch them like that. Um, I could wire them for both of them to do the same thing, but I kind of just dig having the option just in case you need to like see something at night um there you go this thing's gonna look sick inside heck yeah let's get to knocking that one out all right guys we completed it looks pretty killer let me put a little scan back there you go there's a full view of the new lights um for some reason the shade on these new bulbs is like a little darker because
these are the ones that I've always ran and these are the ones that I got recently. So it's a little darker. Um, I ended up buying like a bunch of these lights. So uh, the bulbs. So I'm going to try to maybe fire some of those up and just see if maybe, uh, maybe I hit the wrong amber or I don't know. I have to look like they, it's like they have two different shades of amber. And this is the amber I like, the more yellowy one. The darker amber is cool, but um, I kind of dig that because it's not super yellow, but it's not like, it's not too dark. I, I, I just like that one. Um, but anyways, there's the completion there. Now, the last to the puzzle is uh, I got to do this sleeper door. Um, so that should be pretty simple. I'm going to go mock it up right now and see uh, see how that fits. All right, we got the sleeper door all intact. I think that pretty much completes all my interior pieces right there. Just waiting on the buttons that he has to send me. But uh, scratch that. I thought that I could get away with uh, with not taking that panel off and just kind of zipping everything into that panel, but it was way too bulky and the fitment just wasn't good on the edges. So uh, now I'm gonna retry it and see where we're at. guys already know Starbucks in the middle of nowhere man thank god I got through that accident all right uh, there was a pretty bad accident I think there was a head-on collision or something like that um, I got to read up on it, uh, but yeah, there was a truck involved as well, and man, I'll tell you what, there was like literally nothing left of that truck. It burnt down to the ground, man, uh, but yeah, I had originally planned um, to make it back in time to hit the chrome shop, and uh, when I was getting ready to leave Bellingham, it said I'd uh, get to the chrome shop about 4 o'clock, and time now it's 5 30 and i haven't even <laughs> yeah anyways so i was messaging back and forth um with the chrome shop and i just kind of was letting them know about what time i'd make it there what i needed and they said hey man uh you know pretty much we'll set whatever you need aside just let us know you know when you'll get here you know that they were working with me pretty well you know and that's what's cool about, you know, everyone that's kind of in my corner that helps me out, you know. I need um, cab cab light housings. Uh, mine cracked this morning when I was trying to pull one of the strip bolts out. And um, as I was saying, it's just kind of nice. Some of the people I have in my corner, you know, and I just told him, you know, don't worry about it. I'll just try to figure out another time when I'll come up and, and grab that stuff. I just don't come north enough to really, you know what I mean? Uh, to really, uh, for it to make sense. And, you know, it's about, a, you know, it's 88 miles up, 88 miles back to my house. So on the weekend, I, I'm not really trying to do that. So anyways, Ty 
um, ended up saying, because they live right there, uh, right by the Chrome shop, and he's like, hey man, I'll, I'll just go pick up whatever you need, and then um, you can drop paperwork off with me. So anyways, it's just, I'm just saying, moral of the story, man, a lot of the stuff that I get done isn't all just me, you know? Um, there's a lot of people in my corner that help me out, man. Like, just, it, whether it be the smallest things or, you know, big things, like, you know, I got Jeff hooked me up with pipes and new steps and all that crap, and got guys willing to polish my wheels last minute and you know it's just it's just a lot of little odds and ends stuff that I got a lot of guys helping me out in my corner behind the scenes which is which is awesome man uh, I couldn't do it by myself you know so we're trying to get prepared for this show man I'm trying to get prepared mentally and just you know the truck obviously but uh it's gonna be fun man it's gonna be super fun but uh yep let's uh Let's get down to the chrome shop, get the parts that we need, and uh, man, get to the house, dude. Today was a long day. <laughs> 